What's good, YouTube? It's your girl, Asia. And it's your boy, BJ. And, and we're we back, back like we never left. left. We appreciate y'all for pulling right back up with us. We are jumping right into uh, the next episodes of Breaking Bad and where yeah. we ended off at. Uh, pretty much at the end of the day, I feel like Hank, he pretty much had Walter he and, and Jesse cornered them. in, didn't he? I feel like pretty he much had them cornered them, in in that RV. I just got a feeling he going to catch them. I don't know. I just feel like he going to catch them because he's in so this, close. In, in this next episode? It might. No, Very I mean, possible. probably not in the next episode, just in general. I feel like he's he's on to the trail of Jesse. Yeah. And, and Walter is very heavily involved with him. So I feel like some kind of way, at some point, he's going to catch them. Like, he's going to catch them red-handed. And I don't know how they're going to get their My way prediction. Because every time he gets close, then something happens and, and misleads him again. My prediction is either in this episode or the next, somebody's going to catch a charge. Yeah. I'm just saying it, it's, just, it's just too hot. It, it, it's just hot. It's like it's so hot that the that the mercury and the thermometer about to bust. <laughs> like it's it's hot. It's like way beyond um, comfort right now. Yeah, especially Jesse Pinkman. So he's on the Jesse. So we're gonna see. That's why I'm just like it's just a matter of time now before he catches them. Especially since that happened. If that if they wouldn't have called him off like that and and maybe some kind of way they just wiggled mm -hmm. their way out of it. Then maybe he could have, but but before yeah. that, like because that happened, that means like he's like, oh yeah, I'm on to it now. And then for it to be a fact that it was a fake call about his right. wife, he is pissed right now. That's what I'm saying. I he's feel like it was too close. Pissed. Like, and then we still got the whole thing with with Walter possibly uh, losing his life in the next couple of days. Like like right now, his, his life is like on a on a time tick. Yeah, well, it's Gustavo like just away. put a stop to that. He just told him, y'all, like. Hopefully. This is my territory, so it's my call. <laughs> okay. And right now, I said no. So go on, go on, go. Okay? Okay. We Where about we to need see. to go. I don't think they're going to go away, though. Yeah, I don't think we about to see know, that. Because they've been there every day. Like, we just waiting for you to tell us when. That's why they sitting yeah, there. Yeah. So, yeah. So, But, but we appreciate y'all for tuning back in, for showing us major, major love. We love uh, all the comments, how you guys been engaging with us. Uh, so far, mm -hmm. thus far, up to now. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, we about to jump right into it, y'all. Y'all yeah. ready? Yeah, so make sure y'all like, comment, yep. subscribe, smash the notification bell so you don't miss any videos from Asia and BJ. Also, check out our Patreon where all of our unedited videos are over there mm -hmm. as well as behind-the-scenes footage, Patreon polls, all the good stuff, y'all. You're missing out if you are not a part, okay? So make sure you tap in. Let's go ahead and jump to this video, y'all. Let's go. Here we go. Episode 7, One Minute. I know what I know what them phones mean. What kind of dang gun phone is that? Mm. Si. That's the international okay. phone. Por qué seguimos discutiendo esto? Dámelo, dámelo. Oh, that might be a, a young Tuco. Mi juguete, me quiero mi juguete. Wait a minute. Lo superarás. No, lo. That's that's the that's Solom that's Solomonza. The, yeah, that's the uncle. Tuco's uncle. He must be like younger. Yeah, this is going back. I'm thinking that's Tuco. One of them is Tuco. Marco, dale una cerveza a tu viejo tío. Quieres? Es lo que quieres. Suéltalo. Eso es algo más que eso. Un poco crees que te caí. Whoa. Es más. La familia es todo. Is that? I don't know. The one minute lesson. <laughs> Dang, he he legit said I wish he would die. Then he went over there and, and, he, and right. I guess he had to rethink that. Oh, it's them. That uh, wasn't Tuco. So they are brothers. Mm -hmm. Okay, but they didn't look like twins in that video. So they not twins. Maybe they just they just look older, younger brother. Yeah. Oh. What kind of witchcraft voodoo are they into? Look, that's fake. What are they into? Where they like we're praying that he dies. Right. Ran to the grave digger so, somebody. Maybe that's why he gave him that name too though. Hank's name. Gustavo gave them guys. Oh, the DEA agent yeah. that, that actually killed Tuco. Yeah, he's just trying to take the heat off of Walter, his guy. I told you. <laughs> I told you. It's on me, yo. All right, you can call my lawyer, Saul Goodman. Oh. Sucks, right? And you hear me? I got nothing I got to say. Call my... <laughs> what the... F uh -oh. He's 
straight cold cocked him and just beat him down on the floor. I mean, I don't know how how any other man might have reacted about something like that. Yeah, but he breaking the law too now. Yeah, he he really is. Like, but now you really, yeah, you, you need... overstepping your bounds. He ain't taking it too far. Damn, he really he just walked up to his house like that. He can press charges on him. Yeah, he can. Assault, whatever. I mean, if he wakes up, when he wake up, you know, you know, Jesse, a little one now. He can't he can't take too much punishment. <laughs> Look. He should be kicked off the off the police force now. See him on a desk job or something. Uh oh. Uh oh. Here, here, go, come, here come the chief. Here go his superior. If you're uh, ready to talk, they want to get a statement. Your side of what happened here, or we can hold him off till another time. Maybe you want to talk to a lawyer. Call Sal. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> you know he got to get the picture. They gonna sue. Yo, Adrian. Rocky called. He wants his face back. Damn. Damn. <laughs> That's your get out of jail free card. Blink once if you're following. <laughs> the DEA's worst nightmare is that face. <laughs> Blink once. He only got one eye. They're right. gonna have to steer a wide berth. This this beating, best thing for you. They can sue the police department. You're home free. Good, right? Right. Shoot, my face hurt. Bro, all that. Oh my gosh. Oh heck, he should no, not get just, a whole lot of trouble for that. Not that too, but it always seemed like like Jesse get the short end of the stick. He always the one that's getting beat up. Cause you know Walter made the call. You're now officially the cute one of the group. The cute one. <laughs> it should not have happened, but it did. Right? He should be. I mean, what else were they going to do to get out of that? I don't know. Right? I never saw this coming. What happens now? If scumbag brother-in-law is finished, I will haunt his crusty ass <laughs> forever. That's what happens next. Oh. oh. If I was Walter, I'd be like, hey, I'm with it. Okay. Let's go. Hey, man, he beat the crap out of him. Jesse, move on. Leave it behind. All of it. Thing changes once I walk out of here. They will catch you. So what? I have a get out of jail free card. Hey, I may have overstated power of your face. <laughs> if the cops catch me, I give them what they want the most. You. Don't do that. Don't even say that. They nab me. I make a deal. Heidenberg and his million dollar truck. Jesse, be, all right now. You, you might get slapped again real quick. Pass. He is like off the chain. He might got a concussion. No. He might be concussed a little bit. It just seemed like he just got a lot of hate in his heart. Look, if he didn't give up my name while Hank was beating him, he's <coughs> never going to talk. He'll come around. I hope he do. Mr. Pinkman is pressing charges in this matter. Toxicology on pink blood is clean. He's not using. Mm. Wow. Not looking good, Hank. You could lose your career. Thanks for your time. We need one more thing. A photo of Agent Schrader's hands. For the record. Cool. Like they want to arrest him and lock him up. Right? On the table is fine. Flat on the table is fine. Wow. Look at his hand. Put them paws on Jesse. Red-handed. No wiggle room out of that right Not there. Not at all. He need to be at a desk job. He need to quit doing what he doing. He need to, they need to have him answering the phone. So they, they got him going crazy. No, nah, they need to have him as the operator there at the station. <laughs> just just answering the phone non-stop. Non just being an admin. <laughs> and he about to walk out with his little box all embarrassed and stuff. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, he just got his little suitcase. You know you know how, how the word travels. I mean, his, bru his briefcase. Yeah. You know how word travels around the office. You should have went to El Paso. Should have. And that's what his friend was trying to tell him. He's doing too much. Mm-hmm. And look where look where it's getting him. Better make him lose his job, his career. He could lose his livelihood. Whew, at least it's Marie. Okay. He be acting like he can't stand her half of the time. And, and not the not the two guys. The brothers. Oh, look, look, look. <laughs> wow. That's the most emotional I've seen him. He get off the elevator with a straight face like it didn't just happen. Yeah. We know he got a lot of pride though. Got on green. He loved his peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Uh -huh. The fact that he cuts off the sides now. I wonder if he did that before, before that guy asked him to cut the sides off. Right. <laughs> hey, he's trying to save Fine. money. Do you have a minute? I guess crime does pay. Mm. I don't suppose you just came by to insult me. We need to talk. Is there any danger that could lead back to you? Is this why you're here? Well, come over here snooping. We could talk about Hank. It's gonna happen to him if this Pinkman presses charges. I thought maybe um, there's a way you could help him. Oh. Mm. I can't do mm. that. Get him to drop the charges. Hank is your family. Not currently. <laughs> right, technically. I'm late. I have to go. He's not related to me. He related yeah, to he you. He related to you and, and your little and your little crazy stealing sister. 
Okay. To kind of can help her out on her way. He should kind of be happy that, that you know, they kind of getting a divorce. He ain't got to worry about Hank like that. And, and then and then uh, her sister, so. Yeah. Talking about Hank is your family. No, he not. No. He, he's Shh. your family. <laughs> <laughs> I signed my name on that dotted line. Right. <laughs> when I divorce you, I divorce them. Right. Car trouble. Call me next time. I'll pick you up. Everything is on track. You need to move. <laughs> Our solvent filtered. I thought you might ask that. Done. At least you don't have to ask twice. You, he used to have to tell Jesse things three, four times. Right. Might be the beginning of a beautiful friendship. He seemed to kind of get it together, though. He don't have to. They not arguing. They, they work well together. They have a lot in common. Yeah. A lot in common. But sometimes it can be too good to be true, though. Right. Because it do kind of seem like it's too good to be true. Right. <laughs> I might have to give me a pair of those boosts, though. JHP's hollow point bullets known by the natives as Black Death. <laughs> Shred your mama's head like a cabbage. He talks too much. <laughs> that, that, I think they already don't like him. Cabbage. You boys, tell me what you're looking for. What it is you want? What it is you need? What can I do you for? This. Damn, so lightweight, you'll forget you're wearing it. It work. Sure as shit they do. Oh. oh. What the hell? Broke my freaking rib, you maniac, son of a bitch. Oh. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> They don't be asking no questions, do they? He said, does it work? I mean, this first time they actually did a, a proper, uh, I guess, close to proper transaction. They did a test on that one. They actually let them live. They just wanted the vests. You're welcome! I thought they needed guns, but no, they just want the vests. No, you better say you welcome to them. <laughs> right. <laughs> Thank you for letting me live. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Thank you. Come again. <laughs> Please come again. Right. <laughs> Hale, what temperature did you set here? Station 575C. I said 85. I, I wrote it down. You said 75. I said 85. Dang. What? What? Now, what's wrong with him now? Very uh, he, he just ticked off. Now you've just brewed 50 gallons of useless sludge. Batch is ruined. <laughs> Oh, so they got to start all over. 50 gallons is a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot to just waste. Especially when he talking about you got to do 200 pounds a week. Right. You don't, you don't have any any time for any mishaps. Nothing. Because I'm, I'm, I'm thinking you get 199 pounds, you might lose your life. You want a coffee? Where is he going? I think he's going on a job interview. What are you going to tell them? Here's what you're going to tell them. Your body acted faster than your brain. No. I've been unraveling. You know, ever since that Salamanca thing, it changed me. Mm. I can't seem to control it. Mm. So there is something wrong. Yeah. I tried to fight it. Definitely seemed like panic attacks. Yeah. But it's just gotten worse. What I did to Pinkman, that's not who I'm supposed to be. That's not all this, everything that's happened. I, I swear to God, Marie, I think the universe is trying to tell me something. Mm. And I'm finally ready to listen. Mm-hmm. I'm just not the man I thought I was. I think I'm done as a cop. At least he's finally telling her what it is. Yeah. She's been wanting to know. He's been on his way itself, too. Mm hmm Gail, he's just not working out. I think our first best option is Jesse Pinkman. Hello? Oh. There's a, a shorthand that exists between us at a level that I, I'm just never going to reach with Gail. Mm. I guess we spoke too soon about him. When I accepted your offer, I was told the lab is mine, and I know best how to run it. Thank you. Yes, I will. I will. Yeah, we spoke too soon about, uh, about Gail. So you're not doing a good job then? I guess not. There's been a job opening. I need a new lab assistant. Ooh. I already did my time. Why don't you just go get yourself a monkey? <laughs> I don't want a monkey. I want you. Oh, gee, thanks. Oh, not interested. I got my own thing. We'll be partners again. Split everything. $1.5 million each. See how he blinking with the good eye? <laughs> I thought he was about to say, yeah. I don't think you heard. I heard you fine. I said no. Why not? Let me understand this. He just don't like Walter. You're turning down one and a half million dollars. I am not turning down the money. I am turning down you. See? You get it? I want 
nothing to do with you. I have nothing, no one, all right? It's all gone. You don't give a shit about me. You said my cook was garbage. Screw you. Your math is good, Jesse, as good as mine. Shit, hope they ain't have no bug in that room. That's what his problem is <laughs> then with Walt. I thought it was something else, but that's... He's like, I've never been more alone. Yeah. Ever since I met you, I, I got all these problems. They always arguing. They always arguing. And, and not just that, but they cut, they, they cut each other below the belt when they argue. Right. And I feel like Jesse can't take those types of insults when he, call, when he calls him nothing. Because he already feels like that inside half of the time. Yeah. And, well, you see how his parents treated him. Mm -hmm. And Jesse already has a low self-esteem. And then given that Walter was, used to be his chemistry teacher and gave him Fs and flunked him out of the class probably. Right. <laughs> yeah. 50-50. Yes, 50-50. Okay. Partners. He didn't think too long about that. They got a love-hate relationship. That million dollars must have popped in his head. 1.5. It's like they hate each other, but they can't stay away from each other. I think we didn't said that before, too. And this is the statement you want to give. Yes, sir. Hank, you don't have to do this. No, I do. So, we understand if we write it up like that, you'll sign it. It's the way it happened. I accept the consequences. In the light of these facts, as of this moment, you're suspended without pay. I have to ask you to hand over your badge and your gun. Yes, sir. Wow, just like that. He was going rogue. He was. He he he, de he definitely was reckless. So maybe he really just told them the truth, like what actually really happened. In in the statement, I think so. I just wanted to tell you something. The word in the pipeline is Pinkman is impressing charges. Why not? Who the hell knows? Maybe you have a guardian angel. So what does that mean if he's not pressing charges? He won't be suspended? Maybe. Yeah, That's why he said I don't want to get the hopes up. Got you. Because if he ain't gonna press charges, he should get his badge back. I think we may be okay. That should be a red flag then. You see how he looked on his face, the look on his face. Mostly just because he's like, why Why wouldn't a guy that I just beat up not press charges on me? It's because he's trying to get away with something. Like, got something else going he on. He don't want to be wrapped in with them. Like, you know, that's a process. Yeah. Shredder. And I'll get the gag jag off. Who is this? They're coming. Restricted. Yo, I'm backing out faster <laughs> back. than you can blink. I am not even... What is he doing? Hey, Gummy, this is Hank. I don't know what that call's supposed to be, but it's dumb even by your standards, so call me when you get this. You might not want to be in the same spot. He don't even have no gun. That's right, he don't. <laughs> Look. You need to leave. You need to leave. Tell him again. What? He froze up. He freezing up. I don't know. I don't know. Man, I don't know. I hope they don't come up and just light his car up. Oh God! It's them. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Hank freezing up. What is he doing? Oh. Oh. Oh, he got shot. What is he doing? He just told him that you was about to die. Where Hank at though? I don't know. Look, but he bleeding yeah. a lot. He got shot like three times. I saw one shot. He got shot three times? Man, at least twice. Yeah, I saw him get hit. I think he under a car. Oh my! He just firing off on anybody. Got a fingerprint on that bullet. Yep. I did nothing. Oh! oh. <laughs> he got the oh. best though. Yeah, he do. He do. No. No. Oh, he going for the going for Big Bertha. In the parking lot, that's where he at. What? Oh, that's one of those bullets that that it's, it's one of them different kind of bullets. <laughs> Remember that's one of them one of them bullets that's just gonna shred your head. <laughs> you see that? Whoa. I gotta give it up to Hank though. He a warrior, man. So he just killed the twins then. The two brothers. The other one, the, the other one looked like he was in bad condition. Yeah. Dang. 
But what's up with Hank though? He got shot like three times. No, I think he got shot more than three times. He got shot twice in the front, then he got shot in the arm. Maybe like, yeah, like four times at like, least. Yeah, about four times, like four times. Yeah, at least four. Wow. You know, Jesse like a like a small one, like a small guy. Like it don't take a lot to, to bruise him up. He got a big ego though. <laughs> He's small. You, know, you no okay waiting here by yourself? Yeah. <laughs> Where they do that at? <laughs> they just gonna let him go. If you'd like to smoke, you need to be another twenty feet from the door. So roll me further, bitch. <laughs> 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 Roll me further. No way. No way. Oh, are you kidding me? 40s, multiple gunshot wounds. It is. Shoulder and hip through and through. Right lung and lower left quadrant. No. Jesse trying to see if he gonna make it or not. Put him in there. Or who did it? Mm-hmm. That's probably what he thinking too. Look how he walking out like. What just happened? Who followed him? Him here. Somebody did something to him. Nah, he, he can't think that Walter did. Who was that that called him though? Somebody gave him a warning and told him one minute. So they got his phone number. I don't know, cause you know it, it like like the like the the voice was real muffled. Yo, Justin, sorry I'm late, man. Damn, brother, look at you. How you feeling? You okay? I'm great. <laughs> Wow. He's like, man, I'm. I, I actually feel a little better. My face was hurting, but when I, <laughs> but when I saw that the ambulance pull up, I with, with Hank in it. Dang. Much better now. I'm peachy. As a matter of fact. Basically. That's what he should have said. <laughs> peachy. I feel a lot better right now. I thought things were going pretty well. I thought we were kind of simpatico. We were becoming a real team. I don't think either of us would necessarily benefit from a prolonged. Uh, yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> it's almost not like he's making an excuse. <laughs> he is. He liked the configuration. <clears throat> and I do. It, it's as if I'm classical, but you are, are more jazz. What kind of example is he given? It's jazz. Well, so there is nothing wrong with jazz. I require classical. Exactly. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he's looking at him. Man, this is the ball. <laughs> Here come Jesse. Oh, what a beat up eye at that. A black eye. What's up, partner? I can't believe this. This is my replacement. Oh, Jesus. Nice to meet you. What's up? Man, we should have ditched that RV months ago. <laughs> Sorry, I must be missing something. He don't seem like classical. This makes no sense. He's like, can you explain something? Uh, 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 makes perfect sense. This is my guy. I came up with him. I guess this is... I'll let you, bro. This is for the best. 200 pounds a week. Got it? Oh, man. <laughs> I guess you can say Jesse stoked. Oh, oh. We've only got a couple days before our next batch is due. And I need to get you up to speed. See, the other guy knew more. Yeah. He already knew how to all this work. Yeah, he's like, he's definitely a, a chemistry, a chemistry expert. You haven't talked to anybody today other than, you know, Captain Nerd there. Your brother-in-law. What about him? So what's the story? Well, upon arrival, he was Take unresponsive. Oh, his fever feels like a wet bag of gravel. Where's that blood? Oh, that's the other guy. I don't know if he gonna make it though, the other brother. Oh, yeah, I saw right. He's family. I'm so sorry, honey. How is he? I know they won't really tell us anything. He's still in surgery. They shot him four times. Oh, Christ. I wanna know who was that that caught him. Hey. How are you, huh? Fine. Yeah. I'm fine. I just need some fresh air. Well, well, this is ASAC Murphy. Right now, all we know, two men ambushed Hank. Why, why did they attack Hank? We're not sure yet. Uh. It could be in uh, relation to an investigation that Hank was working on, a message to the DEA in general. They had an axe. The cartels tend to be dramatic. Jesus. Hank got both of them. Your brother-in-law is one tough son of a bitch. Take them both out. You took them down. He didn't even have his gun. <laughs> Hank went hard. Why didn't Hank have his gun? I had to suspend Hank. That means I had to take away his weapon. It's standard procedure. No oh, one could okay. have anticipated right, listen. this. If you would have all listened to him, he wouldn't have had to take things into his own hands. Let's no, just... just... <laughs> Give you the hand. Okay. 
He didn't have a gun. Honey, this isn't helping you. you the hand. You're supposed to protect your agents. Honey, let's just go and sit down. Oh, wait, she is mad. She calm down. I think until these two get the hell out of here. Mm. Sorry, Go. Man. You are not welcome here. They don't even go here. Dang, she's just kicking everybody out. I mean, how would you react? Yeah, she's... I feel like I, I would have had the same reaction. He always has his gun. The one time that he doesn't. He would have never even heard his name if you hadn't bought marijuana from him. Duh. Marie. Did you ever think about that, Walt? She's she going after everybody. Everybody. I think about everything that you have put him through. You're upset, but don't blame Walt. It's not his fault. It really ain't his fault. <gasps> the only people in the room that know is, is, is Walter and Skylar. Right. But Skylar doesn't know that what <laughs> happened to Hank has anything to do with Walt. Like, those guys were going to go after him no matter what because they killed his their cousin. Right. That's true. Point blank period. They give him blood? Yeah. Is he going, you yeah. think he's going to survive? I'm hoping he pulled through. I think in the back, in the back of Walter's mind, I'm thinking he hoping that he don't pull through. I don't know. Maybe for the sake of um, Skylar's sister. That no, they're really close through. as a family, though. Before all that even you happened, so? they were very close. They're a close family. So I feel like he really wants him to pull through, but he also knows what he's dealing with by doing what he's doing anyway, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Walter's attention to detail is impeccable. <laughs> hello! 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 hello. <laughs> Jesse crazy. Ah. <laughs> yeah, but he need to take it seriously now because they, they got to have 200 pounds every week. Jesse Pinkman in the house! <laughs> Probably trying to figure out where Walt is. Well, I guess he knows where he is. Yeah, because he told him. Yeah, you're right. I'm just saying. I'm just, Jesse just don't need. Jesse just don't need to get any Wait. ideas right now. Who did he? Walter. Oh, were they calling him? <laughs> yeah, he said he got a courtesy call. What the hell are you thinking? Why are you calling me here? I tried your cell and it went straight to voicemail. How else am I supposed to get a hold of you? Just put a clock on a phone. On I'll get there Sheesh. when I get there. You know what? Whatever. I'm just cook on my own. You will do no such thing. You better not. You aren't the least bit familiar with any of the equipment. It's gotta be some sort of manual. A manual? manual. It's nothing. We're partners, remember? You sit patiently. Come on, Jesse. We really do appreciate it. What? Is your wife there? Keep us in your thoughts. Hey, tell your douchebag brother-in-law to walk towards the light. <laughs> he is such an ass. He is. He can definitely be an ass. Do you know who that was? We're not even gonna start that again. These eggs, really not too bad. Hey, as I told you, hospital food's not that bad. <laughs> it's good when you're hungry, but <laughs> other than that, <laughs> look. <laughs> look at that. This fork is absolutely filthy. Tell me you see this. It's covered in germs from someone else's mouth. Of course she'd say that. She's just going in. Everybody can get it right I, now. I would just be quiet. I'll just sit back and be quiet, <laughs> sip my coffee, eat my grits. I had my lobectomy at this hospital. I think the scariest part was when they took me into pre-op, lying there, waiting for them to anesthetize you. You may never wake up again. Mm, there you go, telling all the wrong stories. You may not wake up again. I survived this place, and I'm not half the man your husband is. So, so he, he made up for that little piece that he said. <laughs> Just that little bit. I'm not <clears> half <throat> the man that he is. Gotta put a little sugar on top. I heard that they attacked the DEA agent. Why would they do that? My men would never do this on their own. Someone gave the go-ahead. Mm -mm. Are you accusing me? I'm just saying they wouldn't act on their own. Well, keep me apprised. Mm. Gustavo, Gustavo. Unfortunately, you can't see him just yet. We're gonna have to wait for him to stabilize. We'll let you know just as soon as you can see him. Well, like, well, I mean, you know, let me know. Right. I, I, got, I got to get up out of here. Hurry. I could swing by her place. That'd be great. Walter mess around, leave morning, come back. 
Look at it. <laughs> Look, it's a, it's a whole convention. Ooh. Ooh. You ought to see what Hank did to that bastard. Wanna see? Look, they got them escorting them up there and everything. Ugh. I won't want none of them on my face. I got many of them. You comfortable, you piece of shit? Oh, his legs are gone. Don't let him turn around and look at him. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. They amputated his legs. Oh. Uh-oh, baby, got the toilet. Whoa. No way. If he would talk. Golly. He could have said something. <laughs> Damn! Oh, what does that mean? She don't know. She don't know who they are. No, he don't know who they are, but they know him. Yeah, Walter never seen him before. <laughs> what is he doing? Oh, he can't up stuff. That's what he doing. <laughs> he ain't doing no work. Oh, look. <laughs> He having way too much fun. About damn time. <laughs> Why isn't there anything cooking? Um. <laughs> mm. like, um. You can't say anything. What had happened was. <laughs> right? <laughs> he don't want to tell him that he don't know the machines. He don't know what to do. Yo, we got problems, big ones. Just call you right back on my cell phone. Ooh. I told you to wait. Yeah, Dick, I was waiting, and the creepy quiet guy showed up. <laughs> the creepy quiet guy. It's the other one, the one that I'm qualified to speak to. It's due tomorrow. You remember when we were out in the desert with Tuco? No, no he, kept, he kept saying that someone was coming up from Mexico. I don't know. It was, um, uh... His cousins or something. It was his cousins. Whatever, man. Why? Oh, he's thinking about it now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Especially when they, that the guy was eyeing him and looking at him directly. Oh, right, because they were supposed to come for Tuco. For Walter. Oh, before Tuco got killed. Right. Right, you're right. Walter, you don't need to sit down. You need to leave. Looks interesting. Yeah, um, Uncle Hank gave it to me. So I'm guessing they still hadn't heard anything about Hank. No, they haven't. They, ha they haven't even seen him yet. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to <clears throat> keep our schedule this week. Gail really screwed us up. Gustavo, no. He blaming it on Gail. Yeah, he know. We'll cook through the weekend if necessary. The we quiet, will have guy. 400 pounds mm -hmm. for you by next week. I have your word on that. You do. Thank you for the update. Ooh, that's one of them phone calls you don't want to have to have. Right. Not him calling you now. Gustavo's scary. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, the man with the Him glasses. Him not saying anything is just kind of creeping just me that, out. Just that stare with those glasses, yeah. man, I'm telling you. And the, and the quiet, creepy guy that uh, Jesse was talking about, Yeah, he's the one that probably told him that, that, that he hasn't even been there, that they're not cooking. Mm-hmm. Right. Not knowing. That's the hardest part, I think. Oh, there's the guy back there. Who they are, what they wanted? Nah, nothing yet. So we're going to get it. Steve, do you think there could maybe be others? Nobody's getting to Hank. That was their one shot and they blew it. I'd love to walk in there and shoot that bastard right in the head. Me too. <laughs> yeah, they throw that me too in there. See, but Walter feels something up anyway by the way that that guy was looking at him. Right. He knows something's up. Yeah. Yeah? Great. We'll be right down. Food's here. Hey, you like pollos hermanos? We all love it. Uh, on occasion. You heard what happened? He's going to feed every cop in the building. I bet. How nice is that? And apparently he's bringing it by personally. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? So, so what does that mean? Walter don't want to be seen there, huh? Mr. Fring is offering a $10,000 reward. Wow, thank you, Mr. Fring. You're very welcome. Men like your husband are the thin blue line between us and these animals. <laughs> I only wish I could do more. Not the family. <laughs> the family, think... yeah. Please yes. don't shake my wife's hand. <laughs> the family. Pass that chicken, though. As it happens, I actually met Agent Schrader. As a matter of fact, Mr. White, your name came up. Oh, mine. Really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I happened we spoke briefly about your health concerns. Things have improved. That's wonderful to hear. Mm-mm-mm. Look how tight lip he's trying to stay. I've taken up enough of your time. Thank you. Ooh. Again, very much. It was a great pleasure to meet you. He met the whole family now, Agent. Right. 
This is not good. You know nigga has to make him uncomfortable. Very uncomfortable. Didn't say thank you. I'll walk him out. So now he knows how his wife looks. You know how his son looks. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, maybe that's why too. He knew that he was there. But look. I feel like that's the reason why he showed up so he could let him know that he knew he was lying. He just, I just want to look you in your eyes. Right. It's good chicken, huh? <laughs> yeah. Look, look, ladies Frank, like, I, I, Mr. White. Just wanted to thank you again. It's my pleasure. Uh, may I? Get, get away from me. You knew my brother-in-law was with the DEA. I investigate everyone with whom I do business, but careful man wouldn't. He is not a problem for us, for our business. Being here is, is some sort of message. Supporting my community. Mm. I hide in plain sight, same as you. Are we done? This attack on my brother-in-law, I don't, I don't understand it. I don't. Please, if, if you may have some knowledge that you can share with me. Like this, there. I fear for my family. I'm sure they'll be fine. I am told the assassin that survived is gravely injured. It's doubtful he'll live. Now, thank me and shake my hand. What did he, he say? Said, he said, thank me and shake my hand. No. You're quite welcome, Mr. Before that, what did he say? He said the assassin is something. Yeah, he's injured and, and, and gravely and, injured. Right. But it almost, he almost made it sound like. What's going on? That's what I was trying to ask. Two, three, four. Oh, they're losing them. Right. Oh. One, two, three, How did he know that? No reason. Continuing chest compressions. Like, three, like, four. like he can't get a pulse back. Four, get him out of there. Four, Still. Stopping compressions. 843. That's Time why he came. Burn in hell, you piece of shit. Mm. Look, look, his mind is thinking. Oh, oh. <laughs> Gustavo was there. When that's his guy. Man, he's good. He's good. You know what I think, Gustavo? I think you're behind all this. Why would I do this? How would it serve me? Go off on your own, maybe. Juan, you sound like you're under a lot of stress. Gustavo gonna get, get himself in trouble. My brother's a police chief. I got connections. And the others find out what you've done. Maybe we come pay you a visit. But is that the feds though? It is. Oh, that's his guys. That might have been his guys. I'm confused a little bit. Me too, cause cause the federalities ain't gonna do that. No, <laughs> no, 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 they not. They came for him. Tie up loose ends. It gotta be. It gotta be. Gustavo, he he's definitely a calculated killer. Very calculating. Scar Marie. Oh, how is he? Tell me something good. I think he's stable enough. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid it's immediate family only. We're, we're, we're all family. I understand, but we have a certain protocol here that we need to... We're all family. Mm. Man. Oh, the suspense. It, it, they, they know how to stop it, though. They know how to stop it at the, at the wrong time. I know. For an episode. <laughs> they ain't gonna stop it right, I know. right there when wow. they go in to check on Hank, man. Man. I feel like he gonna pull through. He gotta pull through. If he, if he made it this far, made it through surgery, and now they got him stable, I feel like Hank gonna pull through. But the, the thing, well, Gustavo, again, like I said, it's like whatever, whenever Gustavo show up, it's like he's there for a reason. But he's so covert and, and so low key. That's what happened to the you guy. You never know like yeah. how he moving. It's just like he just he moves in silence. Okay, he he's like I, I hide in plain sight, but everything I do is is far wide open for everybody to know. But but he gonna do it behind your back. It's like he he moved like a smooth criminal. That, but okay? that's the, <laughs> that, but that's the best way to be is to hide in plain sight because you know how it is when it's like those guys that they're trying to look for that they never seen, they don't yes. know. Yes. But for him, it's like, he's so wide out and open, you would never think it's him. No. You would even... But that's what I mean. He's wouldn't. very, like you said, he's very covert. Like like, but like I said before, he, he, you could never guess that it would be somebody like him because he's so like... Like a chameleon. So put together. He's well, like, intelligent. He's well spoken. He carries himself very well. Like, even with his car, he's, just, he's not even in like a high profile type of car. He's mm -hmm. like... In a regular, regular type and he of don't car. Have, and, he, and, he, and he don't travel in a, like an entourage. He don't have like no. people around him where you feel like he, he, he has to like travel with somebody that's trying to protect right. him or, or watch his back. It, it's just like he's just like a regular guy. Look like he's the, he's the manager or the owner of a restaurant. But see, I that's don't know it. how far that's going to get him now that he done killed the cousins. <clears throat> and, and, and now he, he, he really did have something to do with that now. 
He did initially, obviously. Because initially he he sent the 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 two cousins after after Hank. Right, but yeah. he he also yeah he told them that it was Hank that actually killed them. But when they was actually after Walter, but mm-hmm. he was the one that also called them off. Mm-hmm. And I think the reason why they listened to him is because, like he said, this was his territory. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So whatever they were doing with the cousins and stuff, he's like, no, we got to go and. And wrap that off because they're not listening to me anyway at this point. Mm-hmm. Then, nor nonetheless, had that guy survived, they were probably going to be questioning him. And they and they want to avenge Tuco too because you know they're related to him. So for them to tell him that Hank right. Hank really did it, not Walter, yeah. even even though they're getting orders to go after Walter, they still got like a personal family vendetta that they right. want to fulfill. So that's why they that's why they went against the orders, right. And just listened to uh, Gustavo, yeah. And, and now we see where that got them. And now Gustavo sounds like he sent his little crew down there to to, to kill. Uh, whoever, whoever the other that guy, was. Yeah, yeah, that he was talking to because they on the other side of the border down there in Mexico somewhere. Well, he had to do that because they gonna come for him. They were gonna come for him, yeah. yeah. And they're gonna eventually figure it out, yeah. Find exactly. it out too, so exactly, yeah. So I, I feel like right now, at the end of the day, Walter needs to get back. Walter, he needs to get back in the lab because now he he, he promised him four hundred oh, pounds, yeah. and you know Gustavo, it's like. I, it's just something about him. Like I don't want to cross. I wouldn't want to cross make him. Make him mad, okay? Don't get on his bad it's side. The, it's the silent ones. It's the calm ones that that, that are really like the calm before the storm. Not only that, but I think like Walter and Jesse and everybody else that has to has any dealings with him are starting to realize like his power. You know, like slowly it, but surely, it just takes a call to make something stop or to make something go or to make something happen or to make somebody drop. Right. <laughs> it just it don't take make nothing. somebody heartbeat stop. Right. Right. So. I don't know, y'all. Y'all got to tell us, okay, where are we going with this? Yeah, y'all drop a comment. Where are we going with y'all this? Y'all let us know what y'all feeling like right now. So it looked like Hank survived, too. So we'll see what happens on the next episode. But y'all stay tapped in. And if y'all enjoyed this video, be sure you give us a big thumbs up. Like, comment, subscribe. Smash the notification bell so you don't miss any videos from Asia and BJ. Yes, ma'am. And if ain't nobody else told you, I love you. And we're going to see y'all in the next video, y'all. Y'all take it easy. We'll see y'all soon, all right? Yeah. Bye.